Welcome to Sunday School. We are glad you are here. We can't be together at church, so we are glad you are joining us for Sunday School at home. Come on in. Find a comfortable seat to hear the story of the Last Supper. The Lord be with you and also with you. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. When we sing these words, we know that it's time to hear our story of God. The last time we were together, we had the story of Jesus riding into Jerusalem triumphant Palm Sunday. It's going to be a very different mood in our story today as we have the story of Jesus and the last Passover. Once every year, the people of God go up to Jerusalem to celebrate the Feast of the Passover. To remember how God led them through the waters to freedom. And every year, Jesus celebrated the Passover feast in Jerusalem with his family and his friends. But this year, Jesus' friends, the disciples said to him, do not go to Jerusalem, we are afraid. There are people there who want to kill you, we cannot go. But Jesus said, we must go. When the day of Passover came, some of Jesus' friends went to an upper room. And they prepared the feast. And Jesus' friends all came to the upper room. But they were still afraid. When they were all around the table, Jesus said some words of the feast in a way that they had never heard before. And Jesus took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it. 
and he gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body broken for you. Take and eat. This is my body broken for you. Take and eat. This is my body broken for you. And then Jesus took the cup in his hands and he lifted the cup and he blessed it. And he said to his disciples, drink this, all of you, for this is my blood shed for you. Drink this, for this is my blood shed for you. Drink this, for this is my blood shed for you. And then they sang a hymn, and they went out to the garden to pray. And then it happened. People who didn't like Jesus took him and they wouldn't let him go. Later they nailed him to a cross and they killed him. And Jesus died and it was very sad. But then God did an amazing thing. God made Jesus alive again. So every time we eat this bread and every time we drink this cup, we remember that God made Jesus alive again. That is the good news that is coming. I wonder how it felt to be around this table with Jesus. I wonder how the disciples felt when they heard Jesus say to them, this is my body which is broken for you. I wonder how they felt when Jesus died. I wonder how they felt when they heard that God had made Jesus alive again. I wonder if you have ever been near a table like this. And I wonder what we can do every day to remember that Jesus is alive. We light the Christ candle to remind us that Christ is with us as we hear the word of God. The story that we heard today about Jesus' last Passover is in the Bible, in the book of Matthew. We'll be going to be reading from chapter 6, 26. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, go into the city to a certain man and say to him, the teacher said, my appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup gave thanks and offered it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. This is the blood of the covenant, 
which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now until the day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives to pray. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now it is time to pray. Sometimes we talk with God when we are grateful and thankful. Sometimes we are scared about things, but we can always bring our joys and our concerns before God. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Let us pray. Dear God, we thank you for this new day that you gave us. We thank you for the joy of family and friends. We thank you for our church family who we haven't seen in a while. We miss them, we love them greatly. We thank you, God, for the gift of your son, for the life of Jesus, and that we are able to learn stories about Jesus and learn how to live our lives and how we can follow Jesus. We pray for those in our homes and in our church family who might be sick right now. We ask that you would touch them with your healing hand. And we pray, God, that you would be with us when we are afraid, that you would comfort us, remind us that you are with us always, that you are here to keep us safe, that you cover us with your grace. We thank you for the gift of Jesus, for the gift that you made Jesus alive again, God. For all of these good things, we give you thanks. Amen. And now, the light of Christ that was in one place can be in many places, all at the same time. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Amen.